Hey everybody, I'm gonna give you one of the best tips I'm I'm gonna ever give anybody. When I went to Cambodia one time, uh, this is gonna go into Portugal. I remember two girls were at immigration, two, two young ladies, probably about 19, 20, 22, somewhere in that area. And I, I was filling out my form and they were just talking and uh, they asked me if I ever been to Cambodia. I said, yeah, I used to live here. And so they were saying, oh, okay. So they were asking me some advice. They were kind of afraid and everything. And they said they were staying at a uh, backpacker place. I said, oh, really? How much are you paying? And they were like, we're paying $7 a night each. I said, well, why are you paying that? Because if you go over to this place over here, you're going to be paying the exact same amount of money. And you're going to get air conditioning. And you're going to have a better, safer place. And they were like shocked because they didn't realize that they could do it. One. And two, they, uh, then they looked at me, you know, always there's a justification for what they're doing when they find out they did something wrong. I, people do that and I don't understand why. They looked at me and goes, well, we want the backpacker experience. Oh, well, whatever. So, but my point is they could save a lot of money on hotels if they did a little research. Another thing is they're going to be staying in a tourist area, so they're going to wind up paying a little bit more for stuff that they would not, like food, transportation. And a lot of backpackers actually go places and they, they I, I really wonder why they're traveling because I honestly could not travel on $5 a day or $15 a day. I think one of them asked the earlier, one of them said, get water out of a water fountain. You know, a lot of times that water out of a water fountain is going to give you botulism and, and you better bring some Pepto-Bismol to take care of it. But my advice is stay at a hotel and pay a little bit more for that hotel so you don't have to pay a taxi. A lot of backpackers will walk 7, 8, 9, 10 miles a day, which is fine. I don't mind that. But here's the butt part is do you want to be uncomfortable? Do you really want to sit there and say you walk 30 miles today just to see a, a bird in a tree or something. I mean, unless it's like a rare bird or something, but I'm just saying, these backpackers will walk six, eight, 10 miles a day. Nothing wrong with that, I don't mind. I'll, I'll walk six, eight, 10 miles a day. That doesn't bother me at all. I used to walk four miles a day in Cambodia. But the thing is, they're walking six, eight, 10 miles a day to eat a meal that they're paying 50 cents for because they don't want to spend any money. If you want a real experience in a country, you need to pay a little bit of money. I mean, I'm not saying you have to pay $600 a day. What I'm saying is maybe $50 a day, give you a nice hotel, give you some taxi money, get you really nice meals, some entrance to some museums or pagodas, and that's really good. Now, one thing I learned is when you pay a little bit more for a hotel, sometimes it saves you money in the long run. When I went to Fatima, it was during the 100th year anniversary, so I was actually there 100 years after. And I stayed nine miles out of town because I did not want to spend $130 a day for a hotel when I could have spent 45, nine miles away. But I didn't realize it was costing me $60, $70 a day for a taxi, 150. Had I paid the 150, I would have had a much better experience there. Now, the hotel I stayed at was absolutely stunning. I mean, it was a guest house, it used to be a factory. The lady that built it up, this is really just beautiful. And if I go back again, I will stay there, but I'm not gonna to go to Fatima. I'll, I'll just see the local area because there's a castle there, so I'll walk over to the castle. It's a beautiful place. Then I'll go up to Fatima and stay in the hotel up there and spend a little bit more money. But it winds up that if you spent, if I spent 125, I probably would have had more time walking around. I would have had more time, uh, let's see, seeing stuff, and I wouldn't have to worry about the taxi because I could have gone to the night mass. And I could have gone, uh, hung around a lot more, and seen a lot more instead of having to wait. The only thing was in Portugal is the power plugs are different from the United States. Every single item I had, my phone went dead. My laptop went dead. The only thing I had left was my GoPro. And the day of the mass of the 100th year anniversary, 
was about to, to die. And I'm just praying, God, just give me five more minutes. Just let me get past noon. And it wound up, it did. So I got that, and then it died. But if you sit there and you pay a little bit extra for the hotel room, you won't have to take a taxi, and things will be much, much better for you, and I think you'll enjoy it much better. All right, thank you.